Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10 with the release preview channel insiders and it rolled out in preview late yesterday in my part of the world on the 13th of February. Now the optional updates will roll out in the fourth week of the month as you may well know so I would suggest that we will start seeing this next optional update for Windows 10 starting the 25th of February so that will be in that last week of February and if we don't get it on the 25th it will roll out throughout the course of that week and the update is optional so you don't have to install it and as I say with optional updates when they do roll out to stable only install optional updates if you have to for bug fixes or if you have a problem with your device if your device is running smoothly just ignore them now the next optional update will be KB5052077 and the build will be bumped up to 19045.5552 two or somewhere in that immediate point release vicinity now this is really just a bug fix update at the end of the day and there's not too much going on so i'm just going to go through everything for the purpose of this video first of all the update now supports daylight saving time changes in paraguay and for the input method editor ime there are two fixes the first is for the Chinese IME was stopping responding when you change the font family or font size. And the second is also for Chinese IME. The color contrast ratio of the IME search suggestion panel is less than you would expect. So those are two fixes rolling out for the input method editor. And that's quite an important fix. It's for the DWM.exe. Now, if you don't know what that is, DWM.exe is short for the Desktop Window Manager, DWM. And basically, it's a core Windows process that manages the graphical user interface. So it's responsible for visual effects like transparency and taskbar thumbnails, as an example. And it's buried quite deep in the actual system files of the operating system. So what the problem with this is, is that... Um, it was stopping to respond many times according to Microsoft so basically it was hanging so I think that's quite an important fix because that is a core component of Windows 10 so that should make the operating system a lot more stable if you are experiencing that issue and then the update brings country and operator settings asset profiles up to date for certain mobile operators and if we head into our settings and we head over to ease of access and narrator which is a screen reader that describes what's on your screen as you may well know once again there are three chinese ime input method editor fixes that have rolled out for narrator so quite a lot going on with that chinese ime with this next um, optional update and then the last fix is also quite important because it addresses a known issue and it's for Open Secure Shell, which is Open SSH for short. And apparently the service was failing to start, which stops SSH connections. And there was no detailed login. And then you would have had to have run the sshd.exe process manually. And a lot of this taking place under the hood, but that was a known issue. So that's also quite an important fix. So two important fixes here, I think, out of the couple of fixes we have mentioned today. Um, for the purpose of this video and that's it guys that's give or take our next optional bug fix C release update which will be rolling out over the next week or two and nothing really front facing going on with this update so not any front facing features and i think that's because um, windows 10 end of support is drawing near in october and with these release preview updates obviously they are still in preview so this could be subject to change. So we could get one or two things that do or don't roll out when it does make its way to stable. But obviously when it makes its way to stable, I will let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.